I'm going to be showing you how to connect um, cables and connectors and all for the listening devices to the TV and to a DVD player. And one of the things I just want to really point out to you, because as you look at the table in front of me, you can tell I have some very, very long cables here. And with the first two devices, the Pocket Talker and the Duet, you're going to have a direct connection. That means you're going to have cables spread across the room. And a lot of times, the people using this equipment are going to be elderly. So safety is very, very important. And usually you want to somehow try to put that cable, if you can, around the edge of the room, and if necessary, even tape it down to the floor. When you first start to work with this, it can be overwhelming. I know it was for me, and at times it still is. So I think there are three things you want to think about. First, you need to think about whether or not you're going to be using a female connector or if you're going to be using a male connector. And you know female, male, just fit together, okay? Secondly, you also want to be thinking about whether you're using a stereo connector or a mono connector. And here's my mono, here's my stereo. You know, we've already talked about those, that the stereo has three conductors on it, and the mono has one. And then the other thing you want to think about is the size of the conductor and, and what you're, you're fitting it into in terms of a jack. Is it a 3.5 okay conductor or, or connector, or is it a mini conductor, um, which would be a 2.5? So let's go ahead and we'll start now with the pocket talker. And with the pocket talker, what they recommend is really a very, very simple setup. And with most pocket talkers, when they are purchased, you receive a very long cord and you just take off the, the plug mic out of the pocket talker, plugging it into the cable, plug the opposite end of the cable into the microphone jack on the pocket talker, and then they usually provide some little um, gadget that you can just put the microphone into, rest it on top of the TV near or over the speaker. And they provide a little clip that has a sticky side, or sometimes you use with Velcro, that will, will hold the microphone in place. You can also put it down in the front of the TV, if the speaker happens to be on the side or on the front, over, over the speaker to pick up the sound as well. Another way that people sometimes do this is simply dangle, dangle the cord. If it doesn't bother them that it's sometimes over their TV picture, then that's not a problem. So you can sometimes dangle this in some way over your speaker as well and pick up the sound. Now, we know that when you can connect directly to the TV to the sound source that you're going to have a better signal. So that can be done as well. And what we're going to do again is we're going to use the, the RCA plugs and we will put them into the TV. In connecting the RCA plugs to the TV, and I'm, I am just rolling those a little bit because they go on much easier and if you roll them they'll come off easier as well. And then I'm going to take a cable that has a 3.5 stereo plug on the end, plug it into this cable I just fit into the TV, and on the other end I have a, a micro mini plug stereo 2.5, and remembering that the Pocket Talker has a 3.5 plug, I'm going to have to use an adapter. The cable that I'm using has a 2.5 stereo adapter on the other end. So I'm going to plug that into an adapter that is female and has a male mono jack on the other end. And I will plug that then into, into the uh, pocket talker. Okay, so then that is one way that I can listen by just using a neck loop, headphones, or whatever, to the um, 
the packet talker. Okay, now, if I want to listen to the DVD player, and, the, and all of these devices will work with the DVD player, and a lot of people like to listen to that way, them that way, is that what I need to do is simply use a little cord. It's a short little cord that has a micro mini stereo plug on one end, and a 3.5 stereo plug on the other end. And I'm simply going to plug this in to the DVD player. That is the 3.5 plug. And then I'm going to put an adapter on the other end for the 3.5 so that I can plug it into the pocket talker. I'm now going to show you how to connect a Comfort Duet to the TV and to a DVD player. So first to connect to the TV, again, I'm using a 3.5 female um, adapter connected to a uh, Y2 um, cable, RCA cable for male. And I'm going to connect them to the TV, a bit of a rolling motion so that they go on real easy. And then using the end of a long cable that has a 3.5 male stereo adapter, connect the two together. And then this one is really simple because on the other end I have a 2.5 millimeter uh, stereo adapter and the um, secondary uh, attachment here for a microphone is 2.5 so I simply can, can join the two together. So I'm going to connect this using a headphone, neck loop, or whatever device you know I prefer when I, I'm listening uh, for the sound. Now, to connect the duet to the DVD player, I'm going to use the small cable again. And this cable has a 3.5 male stereo adapter on one end, goes into the DVD player, and then this end is the 2.5 again, so I just plug it in to the top of the duet. Now we're going to look at how to connect the Motiva FM system to both the TV and the DVD player. We're going to be using a short cord again, and for those of you who attended the training and you have the bullet points for this particular procedure, this cord is called, or this cable is called, a WCA087 cable. And that is the designation given to it by um, William Sound. And it comes with your, your William Sound package, so you should have this cable but it is a very common cable that you can buy in any electronics store. So again, because we're using FM, we can use a shorter cord here. It's going to be broadcasting to wherever or whatever distance you are away from the TV or DVD player with the receiver. So first what we need to do is on the top of the transmitter for the Motiva, there is a little auxiliary jack. And we're going to plug the 2.5 millimeter um, adapter into that plug. And then I'm going to plug the opposite end, which is the 3.5 millimeter plug, into the female plug to a two um, RCA uh, connectors to the TV. Okay, and then all you need to do is to turn on the transmitter. I should have a, there we go. Okay, the green light is showing. And then I'm going to connect my neck loop, my headphones or whatever to the receiver and turn it on 
and I'm going to be able to listen to the TV. Now you can leave this environmental mic on if you want or you can take it off. If you leave it on, it allows you to hear if anyone else in the room is speaking to you. Some people find that an interference and prefer not to have it on. Okay, that does the TV. I'm just gonna leave this on, all right, because we're gonna connect right away to the DVD player. And this is simple again, because the DVD player, the jack is a 3.5, we have a 3.5 stereo plug on the end of that small cable, and that's all we need to do. And again, using the, the uh, receiver, wherever you are, whatever distance you are from the device, although with a DVD player, you're probably gonna wanna be fairly close to be able to see it, you're gonna be able to hear the sound. Now we're going to be connecting the Contigo FM system to the TV and to the DVD player. And the first thing that we have to do is to take this, the um, transmitter and push the center little button on it because when we first turned it on, there was a little microphone down in the corner of the LCD screen. And we need to change that to line in. So when we bring up the menu options, we're going to scroll down until we come in to input. Then I'm going to push that center button again, and again scroll down till I come up with line in. And then I have a little icon here that shows line in. So I'm going to attach a cable, and actually the Comfort Contigo has its own TV kit. The Duet also has its own TV kit, but that that cable happens to be 30 some feet long. So for practicality in our demonstrations, we just got the shorter cable. But I am now going to just plug in a 3.5 male um, uh, conduct connector into the um, earpiece for, for the uh, um, transmitter. And then I'm gonna uh, connect it to the TV and then um, we're all set up, and the sound should be coming from the TV to the, the transmitter, and again, using a headphone or whatever, I should be able to pick up the television with the receiver. Now, again, I have this environmental mic, so I can pick up other sounds, other people talking to me, the phone ringing or whatever, in the room at the same time, but if that bothers me, all I need to do is to turn that sound way down to the lowest level so that it's not overriding what I'm hearing from the TV. Okay, to connect this to the um, DVD player is a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna connect the, disconnect the cable from the TV and now I'm going to use a connector cable that has a stereo 3.5 millimeter male on the one end connect that into the DVD, and then I'm going to connect the female RCA cable to the male RCA cable. Okay, there. And then I can listen to the DVD again by having a little bit of distance away from the screen. Now, what I'd like you to know is that sometimes these connector um, come a little bit different, but they do the same thing. We have, and this one that comes with the kit, we have male, stereo, 3.5 millimeter, and we have female, RCA, and we have the same in this. So should you by chance have a, a connector that looks like this, it's the same as this, does the same thing. We realize that you may not have all the cables and the connectors that we've shown you in our videos, but if you let us know, we'll be glad to get the connectors and all that you, you need to be able to do your demonstrations.